Howdy and welcome back to the RCD show and thanks for tuning in. I'm joined today with Greg Klayma. He's from, where, where all are you from again? Well, I grew up in Cheektowaga. That's a suburb of Buffalo, New York, and I've been living in Somerville, Massachusetts. Think Boston. And here you are in Texas. And this is a Texas singer-songwriter show. So, so what the hell am I doing here? What in the hell are you doing here? My hook! Bring the hook in. <laughs> well, I do, uh, I do spend a lot of time touring in Texas, and uh, you know, I'm part of the Kerrville tribe. Part Welcome of the, home. That you said, enough said there. If they if they let you in Kerrville, I I got no problem with you there. Most they even hug me and stuff. They even they even say welcome home and hug you. Yep. Well, First time I got there, that was that was so great. I had to uh, play a gig in El Paso, Texas, and it was my first time going to Kerrville in the the year 2000, and I uh, I pulled onto the ranch and I didn't know anything really about what I was about to experience. And I get up to the gate, and the girl says to me, "Welcome home," and gives me a hug. And you know, after driving from El Paso, I, was I, was, nice. I was, it was nice and a little confusing. A little nice, yeah, 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 yeah. That's but I got I used to it right quick. That's how I felt first time. I first two or three times I, I got that, yeah. and then I realized, oh, that's what everyone happens here. does it. That's yeah. the gig here. Yeah. So uh, you've been playing like forever and a day. Uh, what's, what's your what's your story musically? Uh, I've been touring full time since August of 1998, so I've been at it for a while. Yeah, and most of all your stuff is yours. You, you, do you do many covers? Do you do mainly your stuff? I know more covers than I want to admit to. Yeah, mm -hmm. and sometimes that comes all right. in handy. We allow yeah. it in some venues. Sometimes it comes in handy to know how to play sitting on the dock of the bay, or uh, you know, any number of other songs to by Willie Nelson, Tom and Petty, yeah. and the like. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I've been I know. there. I know a wealth of material for for a lot of different occasions. Mm -hmm. It helps. But you're a songwriter. That I am. Been doing that since I was 18 years old. I forget if I wrote my first song when I was 17 or 18. I've lost track. But I've uh, been at it for a while. And by the time I was 21, I'd written enough of them that I figured I should go out in public and do this. I started playing open mics. And a couple of years later, 1993, I, I formed a band. And that lasted till 97 when I... Uh, just didn't feel like I was part of that band that I started anymore and I had to break them up and, and started doing this stuff solo style and that's where the touring the the breaking up of the band coincided with getting fired from my last ever held day job and those two things I, I just I felt like I was being pointed in a direction and uh, that was the road so to speak well we're absolutely thrilled that uh, you stopped in here to to show us what you got and uh, share some of your stuff with us. So I'm going to turn it over to you now, Greg. Yeah, how about I play one of the newer ones? I'm play one of the newer ones. This is Greg Klamer. The song here is called The Wolf. It's a one-act play with a revolving cast That's been staged a thousand times The stagehands know the rigging The actors know their cues The director's just pretending Like he knows what to do Still I feel that I know you Still I feel that I do There is wisdom in the desert Where the rock formations are There's a tribe that thrives By not blindly shooting its arrows in the dark There's a wolf in you Filled with love and giving There's another filled With fear and greed And the one that grows the strongest Is the wolf you feed Still I feel that I know Still 
Still I feel that I do There's a castle built on granite There's a mall made out of steel There's a semi out on four Bathroom on a Sunday as the evening winds on down. There are many conversations and some friends joking around. And the bookworm on her bar stool, just as pretty as she sings, hasn't seen enough to know tattoos and scars are different things still I feel that I know you still I feel that I do still I feel that I know Maybe someday Greg, that was wonderful. Thank that you. Was a, that was a wonderful piece. I'm so happy that you decided to decided to come. Uh, Thank you for the good directions. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't give them out freely, you know. Um, so, is most of your music? I, this to me was a very heartfelt, very down from within. I mean, was this about? Do, do, do you write from personal experience? Is that often? Often. Yeah. Was that from personal experience? It's colored by it. Yeah. So is is that? I do that too. Is is so I sort of understand. I don't. That. I don't know that I have a song in my repertoire that is indicative of all my. So a bunch of little ones that kind of all and well, I, I've made written it up. I've written songs like Beanbag Chair, which are just kind of silly, light-hearted songs, and then I've written a song like that. I got a. Uh, I got a number called Two Degrees in Buffalo, which is a nine verse anthem about the city I was born in, you know. Yeah. And I you know, and then any number of other titles I could talk about right now, it it, it goes around a bit. Yeah. Some of it's a little bit You write about whatever Yeah, on whatever's your mind, whatever's hitting me at, at the time. At the moment, yeah. And sometimes it's just plain silly, you know, and other times not so much so. Yeah. Well gotta have fun. <laughs> That's the most important thing. That's why we do it, isn't it? It's one of the reasons, anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Greg, would you would you favor us with uh, with another of your pieces? Why well, don't I play something that uh, show, shows that other side of the story? Okay. If I'm going to talk about being ridiculous, I may as well play you something silly, right? Hey, it goes for me. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of this song? This song is called Greg Klimas Chicken Song. Greg Klimas chicken song. Remember, you heard it on the RCD Yin show Yang. first. So when it's out there on the big stations, think of me. Uh, take it away. All right. Well, I don't like to brag, but for what it's worth... Got laid before the day of my birth Cause I'm a chicken Brock. Hey, I'm a chicken I came into this world on a wing and a prayer I'll go out on a plate with my legs in the air Cause I'm a chicken Brock. I'm a chicken 
Woods chicken got Lord night a lot. We make a pretty good soup, it kinda hits the spot. All I got is a beak, I can't smile or frown. I gave the world the finger and it ate it right down. My sister's got breasts that'll blow you away. My cousin was your omelet for breakfast today, cause I'm a chicken. Oh. Hey, I'm a chicken. Audience participation. Play along at home. As promised, ridiculous. Well, my ma and my pa, they come from good stock. She's a big hen, he's a mighty big rooster. I'm a chicken. Hey, hey, I'm a chicken. Woods chicken got Lord not a lot. We make a pretty good soup, it kinda hits the spot. All I got is a beak, can't smile or frown. Gave the world the finger and it ate it right down with a side order of wings. I got my head cut off, I ran around till noon, and I'll be coming to a freezer near you real soon. Cause I'm a chicken. Oh, oh, oh. Let the finger licking good times roll. Oh, 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 oh. Let the finger licking good times roll. Jack, uh, you are very uh, versatile, aren't you? <laughs> I guess so. Well, I guess so. I guess that's the uh, word for it. Uh, you know, normally here on the RCD show we do we do one song and and then have you back, you know, but I, I, I'm enjoying <laughs> listening. I really don't want to stop. Uh, how about we we uh, go ahead and do a, and make this a threesome, give people something to listen to, and uh, pull out of your hat one of your, something you're proud of, one of your, one of your, one of the ones that you play when people go, oh, play me that song. I don't know what that song is. Right on. But you, you got one like that? I got a couple that I think fit that description. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would be the name of one? This one here is called Two Degrees in Buffalo. Two Degrees in Buffalo. Greg Klamer. <laughs> it's two degrees in Buffalo. Snow is coming down. It's a whiteness blank, it's everything around. Drifts that measure six and seven feet above the ground. Clouds will run all night to move the snow. It's only two degrees in Buffalo. Cold, dry wind, a storm is coming over water that is warmer. Weather men do what they can to warn of a northbound pressure system and another coming down from Canada over Erie and Ontario. It's only two degrees in Buffalo. Some as soon as they can leave their parents' house They'll graduate from college there And get hired for a job down south Where the coolest thing they'll hear is on the radio They earned their two degrees in Buffalo Saturday morning at the Broadway market Say gin dobre pani matka Buy a beef on weck Or get a pound of saline's dogs You can walk the Elmwood Strip and shop Take your children all bright knocks Maybe out to see Niagara Falls And if they act up just remind them Of Father Baker's Hall
folks have heard of Buffalo, the chicken wing, the sports team, and the snow. No one talks about the culture or the history, for these are things that so few seem to know. Ah, so few seem to know of the inventions, exhibitions, contributions to a nation growing strong. A stop along the Underground Railroad, where presidents have lived and died, while industry and art grew side by side. But heydays come, heydays go, and they have happened two degrees in Buffalo. The 20th century, the city of light had jobs of plenty. Immigrants from Europe made their homes. In the parts of Frederick Longstead, you could read from a paper that Mark Twain started before St. Lawrence Seaway came along. And the Erie Canal was more than just a folk song. Six degrees of separation, and I hear the same is true the whole world round. But in the city of good neighbors, man, it's more like a small town. It's only two degrees in Buffalo, and anywhere you go, you're bound to see somebody that you know. Buffalo may roam From Atlanta, Georgia Out to the plains of Colorado We talk of friends and memories of home It's only two degrees in Buffalo It's only two degrees in Buffalo Well, you may uh, you may not be from here, but I got here as soon as I could. And you play like a Texas singer-songwriter. <laughs> Thank you. And that's really that's all that's important, I think. That's the tradition well, we, I respect the most. I, I'm I'm just so thrilled that you you made us on your because I know you you are on a path right now of going from one place to the other. You've got house concerts. You've got. Uh, what are the, some of the things that you have coming up? Well, here in February of 2013, I'll be playing house concerts in Houston. I'm um, sorry, in Austin and San Marcos this weekend. Then I play Anderson Fair in Houston next week, Friday, followed by a house concert up north in Wiley, Texas. And then that'll be the end of this year's winter Texas tour. Ah, so we caught you just at I, the end. I try to get out of the cold this <laughs> time of year. Some people think I'm dumb as a stump, but I got a couple things figured out. This is a good time of year to not be up there. Well, I, <laughs> I, 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 t my, I totally agree with you. I, I don't like snow and I don't like cold. Greg, would you, will you, will you put us on your GPS or in that in your brain or whatever you got? This is where my GPS okay. lives. Yes. Put it, put us on there because 
a really, and I know our viewers. Uh, I bet you I know a couple of them. Hi, I, friends. I, I bet you do. But I know that our viewers and the ones that don't know you have, enjoy, have enjoyed this. I should tell them about my website. Please. K-L-Y-M-A, Klyma.com. That's the whole thing. Five letters and a .com, and you're there. Klyma.com. I got my tour dates listed. I got, a, uh, I got a section for video, another section for you can stream some of the songs, and a link to buying albums and all that stuff over there at Klyma.com. K-L-Y-M-A. And if uh, for any reason you forget or don't want to watch it again, it will be listed in the description below the video. Excellent. Uh, I'm I'm just so tickled that you that you included us in your tour here, and w will well, you please come me. back next time Absolutely. you're in the area? Absolutely. Uh, do I have your word on that? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, Greg, this is this has just been wonderful, and I know our viewers are tickled. Uh, thank you so much.